Toy Tractor Times is here at the 2019 National Farm Toy Show in Dyersville, Iowa. I'm visiting with Nick McCrell. Nick, you've got a pretty cool build here that I wanted to show people because it's something you don't see every day, but a very interesting uh, 164th replica. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, so what we've got here is I've got a Orthman uh, DR planner, a 24 row planner. Um, this kit was done by Friedrich's Farm Toys, um, both the bar and the uh, row units. And so, uh, yeah, I can showcase and talk a little bit about what we got going. All right, let's take a look at that. So here it is, and it's a stack fold planner, but this is 60 foot wide stack fold planner. Usually you're thinking of like an eight and a 12 row. And this is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, definitely a, a very large um, scale planner for, uh, for pull behind, um, three point mounted. So we can take a look at the detail uh, of it. And it, it's kind of like a three-point mounted, but it has additional support wheels back here just because of the weight. And we can see it mounted on the back of the 8R here. So what, um, you were talking a little earlier about the build and maybe you can pick it up and you were talking about like you had the airbags and everything on these row units. And yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll move it around here a little bit. So this uh, planner is fully 3D printed with the exception of the um, seed boxes on the front. Those came off of an, an Ertl uh, uh, planner, but the row units in and of themselves are approximately, um, they're actually, I believe, eight pieces. So each piece was printed separately. That's a different color. So in here, you've got an airbag um, just under this green piece. And then underneath, on your trash wheels are a separate piece, your seed wheels are a separate piece, and then your closing wheels are a separate piece. Mm. And then on the top side, your actual seed meter is a separate piece, and then the yellow seed box, and then the black lid. So there's eight pieces per row uh, times 24 rows, uh, which makes it a very, what I would consider probably a tedious uh, build, but really fun to see the results and, and how it all came together. Uh, it's, it really is impressive. And then you have different hinges here. Uh, for it to fold up. Yeah, so as you can see, um, it was designed just like the, the real thing, but uh, a lot of moving parts here um, inside this planner, and then that outside wing will fold in as well, and uh, this is also hinges and pinpoints there. Wow. So, um, <laughs> let's take a look at it here on the back of the tractor, fold it up. And... So yeah, it folds up to uh, to eight rows wide, so uh, still plenty of width to go down a down a road, but uh, it really gets compact, which is you know why Orfman has probably been so successful for this style of stack fold planner. And looking at the back here, fold it up, and that's just really neat. Definitely not something you see as much in the Midwest, but I imagine if you're in sugar beet country or peanuts or things like that. Yeah, and you know, really, really popular in like central Nebraska, um, where I live in east, eastern Nebraska, they're not, um, stack folds aren't, aren't super popular, but they're, they're still definitely around. So what, uh, what makes them popular in your area? What are, what are they raising or? Um, you know, so for my area, it's all mostly corn and soybeans. So I wouldn't say it's anything different. It's just, uh, you know, Orthman with it being um, Nebraska, um, it's just very popular and they, they do a really well job of, of building their bars. And that's why you can see that, that John Deere has utilized their bar. Um, Cause you can, you can order it either in the Orthman colors or John Deere colors um, okay. from, the, from your dealer, so. Well, very cool, uh, very cool build, and thanks for bringing it out to the show to share, and look forward to uh, 
seeing what you build next. Now, you're where can we find you? I know you're on some social media. If people want to talk to you about customs or see what you're yeah. What so you I, I post a lot of my projects on our Facebook page, Macro Model Farms, as well as um, I have a um, Twitter or not a Twitter, sorry, an Instagram page where I post a lot of updates as well um, with different uh, tractors and combines and things like okay. that that I'm building. So that's McRell Model Farms on uh, Instagram as well. Uh, yes, correct. Okay. Yep. Very good. Instagram's a good place to see lots of pictures of customs. Sounds great. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Yep. So again, we'll take one last look at the planner. Great detail. It's amazing what 3D printing is able to do and allow people to build unique and one-of-a-kind pieces of real farm machines. Thanks for checking out Toy Tractor Times. Make sure to join in the farm toy discussion on ToyTractorTimes.com Toy Talk, where thousands of collectors share projects and ideas. And thanks for watching Toy Tractor Times YouTube.